Welcome. In this video, we will talk about arithmetic in C++. So there's two types of arithmetic that we can perform. The first being unary arithmetic via the unary operators. And we can also perform binary arithmetic via binary operators. A unary operator is an operator that has only one operand. A binary operator is a operator that has two operands. So let us look at some examples of these type of operators. First, we will go over some unary integer arithmetic operators. The first two being the pre and post increment operators. The pre increment operator is an operator that increments a variable and then uses it. We will look at that in code in just a second. The syntax of that is this right here. It is this plus plus and then a variable name. This syntax will increment an integer variable by one. So if you have some variable that is called variable that is equivalent to zero and we use this plus plus operator on it, it will increment it to one. And we again, we will look at this then uses it in a second. The post increment operator is a unary operator that uses a variable and then increments it. And it looks just like this. The difference being that the plus plus is after the variable. So this operator will also increment this variable by one. So if this variable was equal to zero, it would be equivalent to one after using this operator but it will first use that operator before incrementing it. So let's take a look at the pre and post increment operators from a program. So we have this var one and this var two, which are each equivalent to zero. At this pre increment operator, the pre increment operator is going to increment this var one from zero to one it is then going to use that new value in this expression, which will set this var3 equivalent to 1, since it was incremented. How the post increment operator differs is this var2, which is equivalent to 0, will be used in this expression. So it will set var4 to being equivalent to 0. It will then perform an increment on var2, incrementing var2 to 1. So var1, var2, and var3 will all be 1, and var4 will be 0. So let us see this in action. If we come over here and compile our program, increment operators.cpp, we can wait for a second and it will compile and then we can run it with dot slash a dot out and you see var1 var2 and var3 are all equivalent to one and var4 is equivalent to zero now let's talk about the unary integer arithmetic operators pre and post decrement pre and post decrement are just like the increment versions except you are decrementing the variable instead of incrementing them. So the pre-decrement will decrement the variable and then use it. And its syntax looks like this. It has this minus minus and then some variable. The post-decrement uses a variable and then decrements it. And its syntax looks like this. It is some variable and then minus minus. So let's take a look at the pre and post decrement operators from a program. We have this var1 and this var2, which are each equivalent to 1. We are then going to perform the pre decrement operator. This pre decrement operator will decrement this variable 1 to 0, and then it will use this variable one in this expression, setting variable three equivalent to zero since this variable one was decremented. And then the post decrement will use the variable in this expression, setting variable four equivalent to one. 
it will then decrement variable two from one to zero. So variable one, two, and three will be equivalent to zero, and variable four will be equivalent to one. Let us see this in action. We can come over here and compile our C++ file using G++, and then we can run it using dot slash a dot out, and you see we get var1, var2, var3 all equivalent to zero, and var4 equivalent to one. Next, let's look at some binary integer arithmetic. The five binary arithme integer arithmetic operations are addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and modulus, or the remainder. They look like this, the operator plus, the operator minus, the operator multiplication, division, and modulus. These are the exact operators you will use in your programs to perform these operations. And these are binary operators, so they each take in two operators or operands. And they work the same way they do in normal math. And where here, if you do one plus one, you get two, one minus one, you get zero. 2 times 15 is 30, but where it is a little bit different is when you get to division. So, since we are working with integers, we will ever get only ever get whole numbers as our results. So, 9 divided by 4 is 2, because 4 can go into 9 2 times, 4 times 2 is 8, with a remainder of one. And with integer division, the remainder is just forgotten. So we only get this two. But if we want that remainder, we can use modulus. And that would be this percent operator. And if we do nine modulus four, we get one because nine minus eight is equivalent to one. So we have one left over. And let us take a look at this integer arithmetic from a program. Here we have the same arithmetic from the previous slide. And we are just going to perform that arithmetic and show it to the screen. So we can run this program by compiling it with the GC, GCC compiler. Integer, integer, arithmetic.cbp. And then we can run it with dot slash a dot out. And you see we get 1 plus 1 is equivalent to 2. 1 minus 1 is 0. 2 times 15 is 30. And 9 divided by 4 is 2. And the remainder of 9 and 4 is 1. And now let us take a look at binary floating point arithmetic. Floating point arithmetic is a little bit different from integer arithmetic where you only have four operators, which are going to be addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Their operators look exactly the same as integer arithmetic. We just do not have a modulus or remainder operator. Addition works the same way as normal math does. 1 plus 1.2 plus 1.2 is 2.4. Subtraction works the same way as normal math. 1.2 minus 0.2 is 1. Same as multiplication. 2.5 times 3 equals 7.5. And then division also works like normal math, where you get when there is a remainder, it will give you a decimal place for that remainder. The difference being there is no modulus because we don't need it because division will give us our remainder right there. And let us take a look at this floating point arithmetic from a program. Here we have the same arithmetic from the previous slide being saved into these four double variables. We then output those variables to the screen so we can see the result of our arithmetic. So let us come over here and we can compile this program with G++. 
floating point arithmetic.cpp and then we can run it with dot slash a dot out and you see we get 1.2 plus 1.2 which is 2.4 we get 1.2 minus 0.2 which is 1 2.5 times 3 which is 7.5 and 10 divided by 4 which is 2.5 lastly i have a couple of closing remarks the first is mixed expressions so we have regular expressions which look like this where you have an integer operation some integer so like one plus one and in that case we always will get an integer out we have floating point expressions where we have a floating point number operator some floating point number so 2.5 times 3 would be 7.5 but what happens when we have a mixed expression so something like integer operator floating point or floating point operator integer such as in these two cases right here we have a floating point operator integer and we also have a floating point operator integer well in these two cases of mixed expressions we get the expression to evaluate to a floating point number not an integer and lastly we have some precedence with this arithmetic it is just like math but with the pre or the post and pre increment and decrement operators added to it the post increment and post decrement operators are at the top of the precedence ladder then come the pre increment and decrement and then it's pemdos parentheses multiplication division modulus and then addition and subtraction and that is what you need to know about arithmetic thank you for watching and see you in the next video